Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hey, how are you? Actually, uh, I feel a little sick. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Ricardo. Um, have you taken medicine or something that can help you? Mm, not yet, not yet. But I will try to take something. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's important. Yeah, definitely that um, we had some time to like try to rest. And um, it also can help you and see tomorrow how you feel. It's okay. about, do you think it could be something related to the weather or something like that? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, the thing that I have is my throat is hurting, you know, uh, so I can speak <laughs> louder. Yeah, I, I understand that. But I can listen to you clearly. Yeah. Okay. Well, so welcome to everyone. Uh, it is actually eight. And also, you know, first of all, I encourage you to like start this, this part of the ninth, always uh, ready to maximize your skills because it's important. And, um, you know, to try to do your best because it's important. And uh, the motivation is something that we don't have to forget. Uh, to be motivated is the best way that we have to be successful. And um, uh, try to take some time to, you know, practice English that can help you to, you know, to do a great job. So welcome to everyone. And I feel really really happy to be here with all of you firmly because I know that uh, some more students are joining right now the class and um, I hope that you have had a great time and um, well that is important so we have also Sifrido hi Sifrido how are you oh, sure. um, fine <laughs> I think oh, I feel really tired because today was a long day so I feel like I'm a little sleepy and um, some, I don't know. Hopes. Okay, I know that you have a, a hard time, perhaps because the level of responsibilities you have, right? But are you, you feel encouraged, motivated? Hello? Uh, do you listen to me? So I don't know what's really happened. Can you, it was me. I can you see he has connection. Well, so I had some problems with the connection here. Uh, can you listen to me? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, well, so let me tell you that. I think it was me. <laughs> uh, okay, can you listen to me clearly or not at all? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Perhaps the connection could be the trouble. It's because in a, in a, I'm in a different location right now, so that's that's why th that happens, right? And uh, well, well, the most important is that we are ready for that. So let's just start now. Part of the class, as you were saying, that you know most of you are like um, with different things to do, responsibilities, and also tired because you have a lot of things to do. 
uh, but I always say, you know, the, the, mot the motivation goes beyond everything. And we had to feel good about that, right? You had to feel encouraged and also getting ready to learn English and next measure skills. Okay, just really we had a great class because we talked a little bit about, you know, training. Uh, that was something that we were discussing previously about the advantages of training, but at the same time, uh, designing uh, personal training because we have different needs. And when we have different needs, we also have to look for the way in which we can um, try to support, you know, the company to support our colleagues and everything because not necessarily we had to have a training for the company, also for us and also for our colleagues. For example, if someone doesn't know anything about anything in particular, but you know you can help your uh, your coworker. It's like, you know, I don't know how to do this one. Uh, do you know how to do it? Yes, of course I can do that. So they can help you to do something like that. And, um, and that is the, the advantage because you can support other people to do some other tasks or activities or things that maybe we would like to highlight. But this is part of the process. Okay, let's start now. And uh, we're going to work with different activities because this class is uh, very necessary, you know, to focus in the skills, uh, communication skills, working with listening, reading, and also uh, focusing about critical thinking when we analyze uh, some information. For example, when I tell you, look at this video, uh, look at this video, try to summarize the information. You, uh, practice the important skills in an exercise like that. For example, first you work with listening, listening and comprehension because you try to understand, comprehend ideas or the information. And at the same time, uh, you analyze the information and then you can express yourself about something that you have read. So that's why when we work in, um, in activities like reading articles, listening, comprehension, so we are maximizing the skills where we have this guarantee. And I can tell you that as personal experience. So that is the, something that maybe we can also take into account. Well, there are some students joining uh, right now. And uh, let's start because we had to respect, you know, the schedule. And well, we will continue always talking about training and also focusing on the department needs or co-workers. Okay, we have the first exercise that is an activity and we have a listening exercise and I'm just going to share right now an audio related to this listening. And there are some uh, points that I would like to focus, like for example, the speaker focuses on, you listen carefully and you try to understand what's the main point of the conversation. And uh, this incredible trip last, you know, how many days? So they mentioned in a specific time for that. Um, also, the speaker says the activity mentioned in the video is what? Because they, they focused about some activities that so they also can develop. But there is one specifically that this person highlighted in this conversations, I could say. And then we have the trip does not include because there were some things that include the trip. But at the same time, there are some other things that perhaps are not included. And we would like to know which ones are those. And the last is like bookings must be made. And also there is a specific um, and numbers, right? Uh, that you can see three possible choices in advance, so you have to listen carefully and try to uh, select the best answer according to the conversations. Do you have any questions or doubt related to the to the vocabulary scene? Questions? No questions about the vocabulary. No questions, no, right? 
Okay, I will send you the audio then. So just uh, give me a brief moment to do that. And also, um, let me see, let me see. I, I have it, I have it. All right, so listen carefully and uh, select the best answer for this conversation. Let's do it.
Almost ready? Yes? Ready or not yet? Okay, are you ready? Did you uh, select the answers? Or not yet? I need a few seconds more, teacher. Okay, um, okay, I'll give you more time for that. That's okay. Okay, much better now. Osman, are you ready? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, yet. okay. that's okay. Some, don't, don't some difficult uh, audio. Okay, that, that's the goal. That's the most important. You can try. <laughs> All right, don't worry, guys. You can take your time because, as you know, the most important is that um, focus about the, you know, the listening skills. All right?
Okay, so let's um, continue with the activities. We're going to share the answers. And uh, what I want you to do is try to understand the most important uh, points related to this um, conversation. Well, first of all, uh, something interesting about listening is that we had to focus in the pronunciation, the, the concepts, and also the most valuable about each conversation. We have the first one, and the number one says that this person uh, focuses on what uh, could you identify about the most important. Yes. And this one, what did you get from this? Who wants to be the volunteer that can also share uh, the answer? The history, history. Number three, I know I don't have the screen. The history. Uh, significance? Yes, yeah, significance, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, that was uh, something valuable. Do you have a similar answer, guys, or a different one? In my case, um, it was pretty confused because he, the dude yeah. mentioned <laughs> some about history, but he says the, I think the word was magnificence and surreal. So uh, I think it could be the beauty and grandeur or Utah. Okay. Uh, grandeur is similar to greatness. When you say greatness or something grave or something splendid are like synonyms. Okay, uh, well, in that case, the answer is yes, the beauty and uh, grandeur. That is the, the right answer because they, they mentioned words to describe the, the scenic regions of Utah and also the most interesting about this place and what is fabulous. So in conclusion, they talk about the beauty and the grandeur. So that is the, the answer for this one. Sorry, teacher, I didn't catch up the grandeur. Grand, grandeur? What's the meaning? Sorry. A greatness. Great, greatness. 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 Mm. Yes. Or we can say splendor. Splendor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Also, some people's uh, synonym is magnificent. Mag mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. There are synonyms. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So we have the next one. It is well, this incredible trip uh you know last um you know how many days you could listen. Uh, I listened five, but I, I then I listened four, but I think that is five your five days. <laughs> Okay, thank you. You were like between four and five, so <laughs> average. Okay, someone else could listen uh, something similar. But but I think it's I think it's five because the the in the in the video say that the last four is adventure or activity and, and outdoor okay. outdoor activity say, but oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, and uh, the other students, I, I don't listen then, like spectators. Yes. In my case, teacher, I I listen a a five five and for two, but, but the emphasis in five days. Okay, but we're talking about five days complete, five days. Or not? Yes, in the whole, yeah. In I think that is a package, <laughs> but it's five days. <laughs> so in that case, the answer about this trip it take specifically four days. So they mentioned that it's like between five, but in that case, it's still four. It according to the speaker, it lasts uh, four days specifically. But this four teacher because in the in the question say last. Last days. Ah, okay. Yeah, I I heard you that the last day, that last four day, they are dedicated as at outdoor activity. Yeah, it is not complete. It's it's not mm -hmm. complete five mm -hmm. days. That's why 
uh, it for this complete four days. Okay. All right, let's see the next one. And well, the speaker uh, mentioned some valuable details, so valuable things that they, you know, also share. And uh, the question is, you know, the speaker says activity mentioned in the video is what? Or in the, in the ad, do you remember? He said hiking. Yeah, I listen hiking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hiking through the Great Canyon. Okay, exactly. So for that uh, trip, they need to hike. Yes, that's right. Great job, great job. Uh, next one. Uh, the trip um, also doesn't include some specific things. What do you think it is? Transportation, Transportation in Utah. In Utah. Yeah, the last. Well, what does it include? I'm sorry. Transportation in Utah. Transportation. Mm. But there's <laughs> something that, that doesn't make that is not included. What was oh, that? really? <laughs> I hear you that include transportation. In remember Utah? that? No, remember that is a package, and that was mentioned in the. Uh, okay. Yeah, that that is a package, and that was mentioned in the conversation. Do you remember the word local transportation? Oh yes, local that transportation. Oh, so we're talking about local the area. But there is one a specific thing that is not included in the in this trip. Yeah, no one? Try, try, mm -hmm. guys. Don't worry. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Right. Or outdoor equipment because is hiking the activity that mentioned in a sport and that outdoor sport maybe uh, equipment <laughs> equipment yes no. <laughs> okay I think Nelson has something to say no I think like Nelson Nelson wants to say something no 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 I. Uh, I heard that he said transportation is not included. Okay, so in that case, we're talking about the entrance fees. Uh, it is not included on the on the package. So that's mean that you have to like pay extra because you can go there using using the transportation, but the entrance fee is not included in the in the package. And the last one is like bookings must be made. Uh, how many days in advance? 13. Yes, 13. Exactly. 13 days in advance. Great job. So um, it's important. So imagine those kind of trips uh, are very complete. So people spend a lot of money, uh, especially when they are talking about packages for traveling. Yeah, for you, that's... Does it sound interesting or not? This trip sounds interesting to you? A little bit trick. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting, but yeah, it's we interesting. have. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's, it's very interesting. Like every place that are beautiful and interesting places to visit. Well, our country has incredible, invaluable things, right? Beautiful. Um, you no know, places to visit. It's a small country, but with incredible, you know, trips. Okay, we're going to continue um, working on the following activity. We have to watch the following video and take notes about this one. One second. Okay, we're going to listen the following in video. I, I'm going to one second. I need to like share this link so you can also watch the video. And uh, one moment, please. One moment, one moment. Okay. Yes, this is the link. 
uh, I want you to to listen this uh, video, and also I want you to remember some important points. So listen again, and I will ask you some questions. Okay. What I want you to do is to understand uh, some valuable details about this video, and I will be asking general questions. Okay. Hey, can you see the link? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, Just one link. Okay, perfect. So listen this one, and then I will ask you some questions about this. Go ahead.
Okay, um, ready? Yes? Oh, did you listen the the video or you are still watching it? I still watching the video. Okay. Me too, teacher. All right, that's okay. What I want you to do is just to listen because I will ask you some questions, right? So I need to make sure that you have the level of comprehension about the video and also uh, the, the main idea about this. I, I only I understand uh, the important what 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 important is to training uh, or workforce in a company and um, more things, but uh, I am listening yet. Okay, don't worry. Okay, so let's see now. And um, first of all, uh, tell me uh, what is the video about? Uh, I need a volunteer to summarize in a briefly way, in, the, in some words, uh, what you got uh, about this video. For example, Osman uh, mentioned something very valuable at the beginning. So and another student that would like to share his point of view. I have seen some students that I don't see them practicing too often. And I see some of you that always participate in the class, and that's good. That's awesome. But I would like that all of you can participate actively. So who would like to share the, what you understood about a video? Well, teacher, I understand about the video is the NCCR is a company in terms of the 
train to training the workforce different areas for example he says in the construct field uh, other talk about the, the um, industry the about a lot of, lot of industries different areas in the, in the in the commerce Okay, thank you so much. Yes, uh, that is the, something very interesting. So the question is, according to this one, is it important to invest in trainings or not? What can you tell me about it? Is it important for companies invest money in trainings? Um, do you know what is the meaning about trade? The invest, right? Yes. Uh, teacher, teacher, I, I, my opinion is, uh, is very important because if a company invests in training for, uh, for uh, employees, for all employees, uh, the company can arrive a better result. Okay, at the end, it's beneficial to them, right? Yes. Okay, th th that's very interesting, Osman. Thank you. A any other comments related to the same question? It's important to invest in trainings. What do you think? Remember, yeah. yes, Manuel. Yeah, it's important to invest in training, and but because because the employees have a, a new skill, is is the better is the better is the better to do a to to do function and every worker Creo que me cayó el internet. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Well, that is very interesting. And the last question is, the last question is, what, ha what happened when companies don't invest in trainings for employees? What happened when companies don't invest in trainings for employees? What do you think may happen? In my opinion, uh, you need to find people into the uh, in, in the market. Uh, but uh, the best way could be find p the people into the company. But when you don't invest in the training uh, for the for your workforce to highlight the skills, uh, to increase productivity, to um, keep the company safe and get better results is um, dangerous, but because the people is, is into the your company. Just that. <laughs> that's right, so that's really important. Um, as, as, as we know, part of the, the most valuable details, you know, they need invest. They need to move on, no matter if they have resources, no matter if they have so many things, but training also can encourage and can give some tools to employees to do a great job, no matter how well prepared they are, because we have, sometimes we have expert people, we have people who get careers, and that's awesome, uh, but uh, professional people all the time, they need to work and update in the process. So that is the, something interesting. And also there are some companies that they send, um, they send a specifically employees to have some trainees abroad, imagine, they spend a lot of money because I met some um, some people who work in some companies 
and they said that they uh, are sent to, to, to well to be to be in different workshops or trainings and they go to Brazil they go to Europe Europe and some of them go to Africa uh, obviously that the companies are huge companies and they spend a lot of money and they say that it doesn't matter how much money do they spend because for them the most important is that everything that they have learned abroad all the information knowledge and they can use it to work in the companies and that's uh, fascinated um but not necessarily we had to work you know to be in a training and outside we can do it by ourselves and we can study we can learn we can be self uh, autodidactic so we also can be 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 one of them i have a question are, are you uh, studying something by yourself in this moment are you studying something by yourself like autodidactic Michel, can you repeat the question, please? Yes. So are, are you studying something by yourself? For example, you are learning uh, something. For example, I, I have a friend that he is studying Excel, for example. He's not studying in an academy or he's, he's not studying in, in a school or somewhere else. He's studying by himself. So he like watch tutorials, he's trying, he reads some manuals, so the, he's studying something by himself. Are you studying something specifically by yourself or not in this moment? In, in my case, teacher, in this moment, not, but uh, before, yes, I, I, I studied uh, the proactive way, uh, for example, Excel, yes. And, and, I, I, did, and I, I did it in, in, academy, in academy. Uh, I studied uh, in in online, yes. Okay, so at the end, it's like kind of beneficial to do that one, right? And someone else would like to um, to share if you're actually are studying something by yourself. Teacher, in my case, I'm learning about Power BI. Uh, really, I I knew. Uh, adv Excel Advanced and Power Query, but in my company needs some da some dashboard to see the better uh, way how the company is going, and the Power BI is, is so is so important uh, in the company. I I did a uh, the first dashboard uh, starting uh, by myself. And in my company, wow, it's the first uh, dashboard that we see in this company. And it, it, it was the motivate, motivation. Motivation? It it was the motivation for me to keep studying but by myself. Excellent. Thank you so much, Kevin. That was that was a very interesting, you know, you know, way to sure. yes, yes. I have, I, I hope you know. Yes, uh, of I, I don't know why, but uh sometimes, sometimes, not always, when I study uh, uh the Practic practic way, uh, I when when I invest investigate uh, different topic, uh, I learn more compared when I uh, I am a teacher or when I, I stay in the class. I don't know if I get my idea. I mean, so you you can study by yourself and. Um... But sometimes, sometimes, but uh, do you I, need help? I learn when I uh, investigate uh, for uh, my own, uh, I, my, I, I, I said, when you, pardon, in, in español, it's difficult, difficult to explain, but when you investigate things for yourself, you learn a little bit more. 
eh, no siempre. Y a veces cuando le explican a uno como que se acomoda a uno y a veces la retentiva no es, a veces no se capta mucho, ¿verdad? Pero se aprende bastante cuando uno investiga. Okay, yeah, it's important to investigate because we can learn. Yeah, we understand that. We can learn. Obviously, I mean, perhaps th there are some things that has a level, have a level of, you know, difficulty and maybe some things you need uh, someone explain it to you, but there are some things that you can do it by yourself. Yeah, I understand your point. Thanks a lot. Well, we're going to take a short time to check the attendance list. So you can allow me a moment, please. I'm going to check right now the attendant list. You listen your name and you say present. Okay, so let's check the attendance list. And uh, we have the first name, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Eh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Eh, Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Jose Bernardo López. Present teacher. Eh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Eh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Jose Salvador. Eh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Josman. Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present, teacher. Uh, Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Wendy. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thanks. Okay. And Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's continue, guys. And we watch the following. See, let me see. Oh, just man is here. Okay. So we're going to watch the following uh, uh, video because we have another video too. 
In that case, it says, watch the following video and take notes and summarize the most important. The topic is interview. Why invest in employee training and development? As the clue word, we have uh, invest. That becomes in invention though, like invest, invest in something. You have to prioritize important aspects related to employees' trainings. So employees need to enrich with new knowledge, no matter how expert they are, no matter how long they have been there in that position or they have experience in the company because we need to learn new things. I'm going to share this um, link and you will take note, notes and summarize the most important. In this case, what we had to do is that I will share this link you watch the video and then you make a list about the most important related to this um, information and later we're going to go to the breakup rooms in the breakup rooms you will expose about what you understood in this conversation all of us, we have to do this. Remember, I need that all of you can practice. Nobody should be quiet. Nobody can be in silence because we are here is because we need to develop these skills. As you know, the best way to learn is practicing. Teacher, I have a doubt or sometimes I don't know how to say something in English. It doesn't matter, but at least you are trying because you are building your knowledge. So that's why every participation is necessary in this class. Okay. Okay, let's see. All right. Okay, can you see the link? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now I give you some time to uh, read, to listen, and then you can take notes about the most important because after that we will socialize in the breakout rooms. Let's go.
Okay, um, how are you going? Um, uh, are you ready? Are you ready or not yet? So you tell me guys. Remember that it has to be like uh, a summary of the, of why investment and employee training and development, why it's that important. So I just want to know if you are ready or you need more time to, to study that. We need, uh, we need a little time, teacher. Uh, a couple of minutes. minutes. Okay, a couple of minutes. I will give you a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay, right. Okay. And also you can also get uh, more ideas and socialize. Okay, almost ready. Um, yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, Emerson is ready. Okay, Carlos. Yes, teacher. Yes, you yes, teacher. Much better. So we have enough time. After that, we have analyzed the video that we have gotten the, the most valuable information. 
this is the time to express of our understanding. So the how well we understand and uh, how well we can transmit the information given. And remember that you can express yourself, expose uh, the most important points, and we learn from each other. That's the, that's what it matters. So we're gonna make small groups. And all of us, we're gonna give a, a brief explanation about the video or something that you would like to highlight about the speakers. Okay, look at the screen and accept the invitation. Let's go. Hello, Manuel. Hello, Jorge. Are you there? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, uh, what on this good about the, the video? And why is it? Because uh, what is important, uh, 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 what is what is important is uh, invest in the employees. Hello, for or Manuel. Hello, hello. Good evening. And I understand. I understand. Say is the, in the video. It's about the 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 training. The training worker. Uh, the training worker is important because because the workers the 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 workers connect with the organization when when the workers uh, have a, a, a training, and the other point is the worker. The worker, they do, uh, they do better. They do job. They 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 do job better, and 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 the and and the the woman says is a uh, uh, it's, it's important to invest in, in the training. Uh, uh, always uh, because the because uh, uh, when people when people have a training um always they do be job better and and feel 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 i don't know say is parte de la organización part of the organization okay part of the organization and the people uh, and the people feel part of the organization 
Mm -hmm. Only that. Okay, in my case, um, I understood that she says uh, be, uh, it's very important because you need to uh, generate the loyalty uh, without uh, the organization, yeah, right? Uh, especially when uh, some employees uh, lost, for example, uh, their homes or their jobs, for example, they need uh, a, little, a little bit of uh, security, right? Um, yeah. Many many people uh, 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 about uh, some survey. Uh, many people uh, leave uh, of the organization uh, not for the money, but uh, yes, uh, if they don't feel a uh, value, for example. And she says too that it is a uh, inexpensive or cheaper <laughs> to generate to generate loyalty uh, or retain the employee than uh, retraining the the new the new staff for example um, it's very important uh, that the employees engage uh, with a with organization and then and the employee feel uh, committed with a with the organization and she says to uh, they talk with the leaders for the do the employees feel committed with the organization. Um, that, that's it in my case, that, that's it, that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. In, okay, in your case, uh, Jorge? Well, uh, also, I, I, I agree with your, uh, 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 your opinion but also I think that uh, in the video mentioned that uh, the invest for the employees is very important for the CEO and the company because uh, they uh, know uh, the people uh, when the people feel very happy in your workplace is better because um they have a, a lot of a, efficiency or they uh, are a, the better work in the different activities. Not only for a, has the different training, a, also the people a, feel better when a, feel a, important for the company. And and I talk about uh, yesterday with the, a partner in a conversation the I don't know what is the name I don't remember but uh, um, a pyramid for the uh, I uh, I uh, was training uh, when talk about with the uh, value pyramid but i don't remember what is the name and in the first uh, step or on the first place uh, be the satisfaction uh, satisfaction or when the people uh, need to feel uh, important for a company and when the people uh, have uh, property or feel uh, very important for the company we uh, realize or make a, a better job and for uh, for this reason for me is very important that invest in the uh, training uh, for the employees maybe the 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 pyramid that you say is a maslow yeah. Maslow, yes. yes. Maslow, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Because oh. no, it, it's not important uh, for a for a pay or money. The most mm -hmm. important is uh, when uh, how the people feel in your workplace. Mm -hmm. Yes, if uh, uh, you have a satisfaction. Right? Yes, the Dep satisfaction. Depend where you are, uh -huh, depend uh, uh, where do do you are in in this level. I, I, maybe the, the the you need a, a money, for example. Yes. Uh, <laughs> maybe or the, or, a, 
or the different benefits. But I think that uh, we need a uh, field important in that company. Mm -hmm. uh, you need a field uh, that your different activities or your job is very important for the development for the company. Mm -hmm. And when you feel uh, this, uh, for me, you can work better. Your activities is uh, the result is 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 better for the company and for you. Yes, it's correct. Because you 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 feel uh, satisfaction. Yes, uh, for this reason, the different managers uh, think that the the invest in the employees is very important, not only in the workplace. Uh, for uh, the different activities, uh, for motivation, uh, uh, for the that you um, uh, have the different tools for the make the your activities in the workplace, uh, that your workplace uh, with your partner is uh, the um, uh, I I I don't know, uh, teacher, uh, please. Uh, Ambiente laboral. Eh, environment. Okay. Environment. Eh, environment. The, in this case, the environment. The work environment. Uh, okay. Eh, you, eh, is, eh, you, you need eh, very, eh, you, you need fields eh, very good in this, in this place. Yes, I agree with you because they, they have a, a healthy environment is very, very important inside the, the, the company. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in my last in my last in my last uh, job, uh, I live because the 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 environment warrior is bad. So you left you left the job. Yeah, I left. Yeah. When I left uh, I left the job because the environment it are very bad. <laughs> yeah, there are some places that, I mean, are not so good and nobody does anything to, like, to stop, for example, negative uh, things in the company. And this is uh, a little disappointing because they should uh, focus about the motivation and also a good environment. Yes, it, for me, um, it is is not only um, the different companies need to invest for the employees, they also needs to invest for the managers. Because, uh, for example, in my case, in my work, I have uh, my charge uh, two hundred fifty uh, person, more or less. Yeah, and uh, in my case, uh, I need to to learn the different skills, uh, for example, uh, leadership, the personal relationship, because um, in my case, uh, for me, it's very important when I can talk about with the different people, uh, my coworkers needs to feel the important that uh, the different activities they, they make uh, is important for the company. But if you know, uh, if you don't uh, have uh, this, um, I don't know, uh, this capacitation or or training. this training, uh, this training, uh, you 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 don't have, you, you don't you don't can, uh, you make, you, uh, you don't can. You can feel, uh, important that, that that people know. I don't know because uh, if you, for example, if if you don't have empathy for the people, you can uh, understand what is your feel, what is your job, what is your the different problem. For example, because in my case, uh, some days uh, I need to talk about what different people only for the uh, I don't know because uh, I work with many women, for example, in uh, some days, uh, they feel so bad in your home. And uh, yes, uh, one day, uh, uh, one uh, uh, girl uh, come and need to talk about uh, for the different problems. And I need to, to understand what is the problem with these people. 
and when I uh, when I uh, make uh, a little time for for the these employees, uh, she or he uh, feel uh, very important for for, for us for uh, for the company not only for the, the different activities in your work uh, uh, also uh, feel in very very important for for the for for me for example in 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 this case and i try to uh, make a, a feel happy the my coworkers but I need to train him for this. I okay. you motivate them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I agree. I agree with you because uh, I I work uh, many coworkers. They need the same. Uh, they give a a different problem, and I try to uh, speak with them. Okay, thank you so much. I think, well, most of us were here in the in the main section. Uh, also, congratulations to everyone who have been here practicing. Well, there are some students joining. One second, one second. Well, after these conversations that we have had during this time, perhaps we will become experts about trainings because uh, part of this process, we, we are like discussing about the importance of that one. And uh, we were we were thinking about the the people in sometimes people in companies they don't know how to work in teams, and that is a situation that happened in a briefly way. Perhaps we are like no, we're good in material. We know how to work this one. We're expert in this one, but sometimes people cannot work in teams. They are independent. They, they some people criticize others. Some people don't like to work with other groups because they say that they are better. And sometimes happening is in big groups. And, and also there are trainings to work in teams because the teamwork, it's important. Um, if I ask you that if you have had an experience in which you had a difficulty with a, co with a colleague in your company, perhaps you can like talk about that. Yes, I remember I have a, a co-worker that is like a little bit complicated because you know this person doesn't listen instructions and you're talking about things like that but there are always things to do you know always things that can be better it can be improved so that's why i was like really excited to listen some of you talking about the needs of the being better and also being a great person in the company to be very flexible to be very friendly, to be very flexible, and also to be committed. That's important. When you're committed with your company, where if you are committed with yourself, you will go beyond. And I can tell you one example. Um, uh, sometimes I need to study some specific things. And uh, sometimes you know, the time is like a little bit complicated because I'm working all the time. But I need to make some time and study that. I know that it's going to be a sacrifice because I'm tired. I go home and need to sleep. But I take this time to study this. And I know that at the end, it will be very, very 
important to me. That's why uh, we learn in that way. So that is the, something that we just uh, need to focus. All right, so let's continue with the next activity. And I'm just gonna share my, one second. I'm going to share right now the this slide and don't forget to have the camera on. In a moment, I will, I will check the attendance list after discussing about this video. Okay, we have new terms that, that we're gonna study. Remember that at the end of this classes, you will become experts explaining things related to business, related to personal trainings and some other aspects. Go online to find out more about the key terms in this lesson. We have the triangle strategy. Well, I remember that one student told us in the small groups that talk a little bit about the triangle strategy. Um, there are some important points to discuss. What else we have here? We have uh, uh, the benchmark and analysis. The benchmark analysis is very important in Europe and some important companies. So I want you to study and investigate a little bit about this topic. Pre and post assessment, did you see the other one? That nowadays is, has become a boom, especially in the economy of the companies. And return on investment. This is a technical term related to economy, right? So that's why I want you to investigate this. And also we expand our knowledge related to business and administration. So I'll give you a short time to look for it on internet and find the concepts of each one. If you can find some possible answers, you can also uh, socialize or you can also share with your classmates about what you have found. Okay, I will give you this time to look for them. If you have questions, don't worry, you can interrupt the class and you can say, Teacher William, Teacher William, uh, please, I, I don't understand this part. Can you explain me with that? And I will be more than glad to help you with that. So let's work. I will give you a couple of minutes, five minutes to look for the words. And then we're going to socialize in the breakup rooms the minute.
Okay, students, uh, I'm sorry for the interaction. I'm going to check the attendance list the second time. And uh, also, and uh, you listen your name and you say present, please. Just uh, give me this uh, brief moment. Okay. Okay, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. And Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present teacher. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present teacher. Thanks, uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Uh, I'm sorry? Josman. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Yeah. Present teacher. Thanks. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present teacher. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Osman. Present teacher. Okay, Rafael Alexander. Okay, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Ricardo. Uh, Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present. Um, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Okay, uh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present, sir. Thank you. Okay, how are how are you going with the with the vocabulary? Did you find the words, or you are still looking for some of them? Tell me your experience. Teacher, I found about the triangle trade. This uh, help the re leaders identify the, their growth in areas and develop the practice required to success. Okay, uh, Jose Carlos, right? No. What's your name? Emerson. Emerson. I have a problem with my camera. Ah. So, Okay, that's I was like, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I was I was checking here my screen and I was like, you know, who's speaking? Okay, okay, <laughs> therefore, therefore, I, I look the same word, so I find that the triangle is the three components of the strategic triangle are corporation, customer, and competition. Mm -hmm. These components need to be need to imbalance and can lead to a competitive advantage. Okay, the triangle, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And also you mentioned three important components, right? Yes. The three important components. Okay, thank you so much for that. And uh, someone else have a similar or different answers? For example, Manuel Antonio, do you have, uh, do you find this term? Yeah. And uh, do you have a similar or different um, term? A similar. Okay. Okay, someone else have a different meaning uh, about the first term? Do you think that, you know, this triangle strategy is applied in companies?
I have something to add. Uh, that I found the strategy triangle helps a small business owner to see the company holistically and coordinate divisions that might seem far removed from one another. From one another. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Okay, well, so I'm going to... One second. Yes, so, so definitely the triangle strategy is very important to, you know, highlight, especially in business. Uh, this kind of a strategy can allow, to, you know, companies to, you know, to complete everything, to be combined and to work in the same direction because, you know, employees, the, you know, boss, resources, everything working the same thing. At the same time, it's a triangle because all the points are connected or elements are connected to make a successful development. Okay, what about the benchmark analysis? Do you find something about the, the benchmark analysis? I believe the benchmark analysis is a comparative the different furnitures and between the the computers, mm -hmm. like the performance of the products, uh, how is the fabrication and other details. Okay. Yes, it, it was a very complete um, concept. Uh, I really, I really agree with this concept. And um, someone else have a similar or different uh, meaning about the benchmark analysis? Yes. I found Ma something similar. Mm -hmm. okay. That is to comparing uh, maybe some products or um, data to 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 create a a better product. Better product. Yes. Okay, the, the benchmark uh, analysis is related to a competition. We're talking about, about companies. Some companies have similar products and they compete uh, to have the better products being updated, uh, better resources. So most of the time they compare prices, they compare products, they compare it uh, depending on what kind of service is that or it's a product, ingredients. So the benchmark analysis is that one, is to evaluate the competence, right? In order to have a superior a product or a superior service in that one. I have a question for that one. Okay, I found, I want to add some additional information. Excellent. Yes. In my case, I found in internet that there are four types to graduate the benchmarking. The first one obviously is comparing and the, the main right a strategic process performance and internal benchmarking. Uh, for each one course, they have this meaning in the strategy. We have this entails improving part of an organization by assessing others in the industry. In the process benchmarking, this type is used to is used to gain a deeper understanding on how an organization processes compare to those of their competitors and the performance is one of the more complicated because in this we have to find the potential for to be the most useful or the most successful and in the internal benchmarking 
This is a process that is used to improve abuseness by comparing it with um, historical data. This is the information that I found. Thank you so much. That, that was the, something interesting that I just going to highlight. And uh, I don't want to lose the idea, but I don't know if, if someone else have a, a comment about this. Okay, talking about that one, uh, you mentioned something important is that if you are studying, if you make this kind of research, uh, the purpose is not investigating, compare, or make prices or the, the, well, the first is look for a strategy to have better results. That's the focus. I mean, it, it's not comparing itself. The most important is to compare and also apply a strategy for having a better success in the area that they are, you know, trying in that case. So that is very interesting. Okay, what about pre and post assessment? Uh, who wants to help me with this? Before we conclude, um, let's see pre and post assessment. What is that? Pre-assessment is a test that is given before training sessions to provide data to revise plan instructions. Uh, data. 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 Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, thank you for sharing us the term. Someone else would like to explain uh, or say something about this uh, pre and post assessment? Yes, someone else who wants to investigate it? Teacher. Yes. Um, number, bueno, yo lo hice por selección. Uh, in English, by selection. Por selection, yes. Uh, number one, competition in, in competition in entid, entidad, entidad. ¿Cómo se dice? Entidad. Entity. Entity determines costs and types. Also contains a three pillar project. Number two, a pre-hard evaluation of job candidate at personal evaluation or are also made. In number three, concept of, of benchmark analysis information about the position held in the company as well uh, as the activity performed, includes, includes the employee's activity. For me. Thank you so much. Esa fue mi investigación. Oh, English. Best investigation. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, that was your investigation. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely that you found uh, some important points related to the pre and post assessment. Well, I'm just going to clarify something about that, but I don't know if you have any other comments. Any other comments about this um, term, the key term? No? Just no? Okay, yes, as you as most, most of you said, the, the pre and post assessment is the kind of test given by the company to evaluate the process uh, with the purpose to maximize and enhance the production or the service of a specific company. Why spray? Because uh, it's important to ev evaluate before the process, before starting the process, and after the process, that is the post-assessment, we evaluate the beginning and what we evaluate the, the process and we evaluate the conclusion. So that's why this term is important because if we're talking about products, we're talking about services in a company, we need to make sure that we are working in the right path. 
And we go with the last one that is the return on investment, like R R O I, the return on investment. Who would like to share? We conclude with this uh, term. Who would like to share what you found in this point? Me, teacher, can I? Thank you. Uh, I return our, our investment is ROI is a performance measure used to evaluate the efficiency or profitability of an investment or compare the efficiency of a number of different investment. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Well, so guys, we're about to conclude our class. So congratulations for the work done. I know that this has been very challenging, but tomorrow I want you to be here in the class because we will be talking about the how to use preconjunctions, the part number two, and we are going to talk about neither and nor. This is a very common structure. Uh, have you heard about neither and nor in a conversation or about these grammar structures, neither and nor? Have you studied that before? I think no. I will I will be explaining this topic tomorrow. We're gonna to be working some exercises. The preconjunctions uh, are important and also very formal in a conversation. So we will be studying that tomorrow. So um, thank you so much guys for being here in the class and have a beautiful night to all of you. Thank you. Okay, have thank a good you. night. Bye -bye. Good teacher. Night. Good night. Good night teacher. Good night. Good night. Okay, good night teacher. Bye bye.